I'm going to catch chickens. For what purpose? To put them in the tractor. Okay. I'm going to put the chickens in the tractor. We are going to make butter today. So first we have to go and milk the goat. Once we get the milk, we will take it inside. And essentially, from what I've researched, you just shake it a lot. And it turns into butter and then you rinse it and salt it and then you have butter, which I think is really cool. So hopefully that's how this is gonna work. Buttermilk after we get the butter out of it. Water. Okay, well, I was wrong. <laughs> um, so you do have to have the cream separated before you can make it. I don't know how that lady made butter just from milk, but she didn't say she separated the cream. So I was kind of hoping that that was going to work and it did not. We are going to let it sit and let the cream rise to the top and then we're going to skim it off and we're going to attempt it that way. It was fun to shake the milk jars. Lexi enjoyed it and Haley had fun and boys didn't really want to participate at all. But we're going to try again, see what happens. And today we have to get the chickens into their tractors, get the tarps fastened, get all of the tractors put in the field with the chickens and all of that. It's going to be a long day. Check out my nails. Ain't they pretty? I did them this morning with Color Street and I know that that's not really like a homesteading thing, but I'm a mom and I like to have my fingernails look pretty every once in a while. Did them in like 20 minutes. I'm a toad. In the description, I will leave you my friend's link who sells it. She loves it. I love it. Cory just told me he used poultry staples. Now we're gonna put the chickens inside. For what purpose? To put them in the tractor. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the chickens in the tractor. And I need 40 of them. Because each tractor holds 40 chickens. So why are they going from the brooder to the tractor? Because we need them to not only have enough space to live, but they can fertilize our yard. They eat the bugs in the grass, and then in the ones that are in the pasture. Pasture raised chickens, right? Right, pasture raised chickens. So the ones that are in the pasture, they're gonna be fertilizing our grass. That way we get our goat babies. So, so let's watch 
Emily cooks the chickens. Why don't you just get in, get in over there with them? Get in there? No, I have sandals on. Mm, let's go wait on your sandals on the phone. <laughs> Technically, I had your crop, so I guess I can. My toes are protected. <laughs> Those are my house shoes. Well, I guess I have to wash your house shoes. Why are you wearing my house shoes out in the brooder box? Because they're crocs. Woo! You told me to get in. I didn't realize you had my crocs on. How many do I have in here already? I don't know. You didn't even count them? Five. Six. Six. Whoop. Seven. Seven. Yep. Seven. I thought it was eight. Nope. I let one out. Gosh, they're getting big. Look. 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 They have big wings. It's going to be yummy wings. <laughs> What number is it? Eight. Eight? They're so much harder than when they were babies. Nine. No! Just only put ten in there. This is exhausting. <laughs> This is really a lot harder than when they were babies. I mean, really, like two weeks makes a big difference in these guys. One. Hmm. So what are you doing when you're cleaning it out? Do you not pick them all up and get them out of here while you're cleaning them out? Well, last time I cleaned them out, I just scooped around them. Is that two? Mm-hmm. Look at those legs. Yeah, sure I do. Can you give me something to put on here? I don't know. Like, not something too heavy, just like... Like that empty water right there. Be oh, great. Perfect, Gabe. Thank you. Are chickens prey animals or predator animals? Three. Five. Unless you uh, start talking about how people think that they're the new version of the Velociraptor. What? what they're just miniature Velociraptors. Velociraptors? So, are, Gabe, are you now in the picking order of the chickens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not try to kill it before we're ready to. to I realize you want some wings, but we need to let them grow a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, ten. No, ten. All right, now let's go. In my Crocs, my house shoe Crocs at that. Here, I'll be a gentleman. Oh, thank you, sir. You're so polite. You guys are awfully needy. Whoops, sorry. Now that you're in the box, you don't want to get out of the box. Whoops, you're free. Run free. How do you tell rooster versus hen? Right now you don't. That's up with the rollers. Really? Yeah. Look how pretty that wing is. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Not that I can feel that. But... I mean, I'm not saying you can't, but I'm a professional on rollers. I think you would go by the tail feathers. Like that one's got a tail feather, and that one doesn't yet. Okay. And believe it or not, the one that doesn't yet is actually the rooster. Huh? Interesting. Mama, I'm get twenty more. The one trying to get in it right here beside your foot. Dave's got one for you. Was that seven? 
上来哟。Staples in all you there. They like it? They look pretty free. This is what the wild looks like. So, how many chickens do we have in there? In here? Yeah. And why do we keep 40 in there? So how big is our tractors? Eight by ten. Which is? Eight square feet. Yay! Eight square feet. Come on. Now they need wood. And food. And water. <laughs> mm, do we have a seem to be growing well with what they're eating now. Aren't they so pretty? But how do you know one dog? I can't catch the ducks right now, honey. Why? going up to the other tractor where the next 80 will go in about six weeks we will have a kill weekend or a butcher weekend or a processing weekend whatever kind of term you're comfortable with but these chickens are going in our freezer they are our meat chicken this is how I will feed my kids for the next year so to the next tractor we go. And now we go and get the other chickens. There should only be 40 more, but I think we actually counted some extras, which is good. You always have to account for possible losses uh, we've already lost three, if I'm not mistaken. So we should have 117. But I think we have more than that. So let's round them up. We have 
had this guy show up last night. Unfortunately, um, none of the kids can go outside. So if you hear a bunch of background noise, I'm sorry about that. I didn't get to film uh, anything else after he showed up because one of the kids started screaming and the dog was barking. I finished setting all the chickens up. I've posted and nobody seems to either know that their dog is missing or want him back. So as of right now, he's just hanging out. One of our dogs is not happy and does not like him. The other one wants to play with him. I'm not sending him to the shelter. I just don't want to. I guess we're just, we're gonna just love on him and foster him, or I just don't think we need another dog right now. But but maybe maybe the Lord's plan is just different. You know, they they say that, that he never gives you more than you can handle and, and we don't have a big dog food expense, so, you know, what's another two cups a day? I don't know, maybe we're supposed to have him. I did give him a little bit of food this morning. You know, they say don't feed a stray dog and he'll go home, but he didn't go home last night. This morning I finished the chores, milked the goats, checked all the tractors. <sighs> so I guess today I'll make more spaghetti sauce with all of these tomatoes that Corey brought me yesterday. I also have lots of cucumbers that I need to make more pickles with. And I probably have enough tomatoes for two batches of spaghetti sauce. So we'll be doing some more of that today. I did get to skim off some cream from the milk. I have another pint that is separating. But we'll skim that off and then we'll see if we can make butter from that cream. What do you think about the dog? Can you say dog? Uh. You got a cucumber? Do you want to keep the dog? You know, sometimes the Lord's plan doesn't always go along with our plans. Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. So unless somebody claims him, I guess he's ours. It's kind of funny how my devotional for today is talking about um, relaxing and letting him lead us through our day. Attentiveness to me is not only for your quiet time, but for all of your time. As you look to me, I will show you what to do now and next. Obviously things change and I guess we'll just see how this plays out. We'll just continue to kind of roll with it and we'll just see what happens. Just spaghetti sauce. That's one last thing I have to do today. Corey and I have talked about it. For now, he's going to stay with us. He's getting along okay. Um, our one dog that was not a big fan yesterday is definitely warming up to him. That's just going to take a little bit of time. But the other dog, the other dog's playing with him now. So they're getting along. They're going to be friends. Maybe pick a name for him in a little while. So even if he's only here for a day or a week before, you know, his owners <clears throat> decide to come and get him, at least I provided him with a good home, some food and water. I do think it's a little weird the way that he showed up. So we talked to the kids this morning and... And they said that 
when they noticed him, he was sitting in the middle of our driveway, just watching them play. Which is weird. Like, didn't see him come from anywhere. Don't know what direction he came from. He was just sitting in the driveway, watching the kids play. It just seems a little weird to me. Um, you know, I don't know at what point do you just say, like, okay, I'm just going to keep it. They've settled on the name Rascal, by the way. They all really like the name Rascal. We have explained to the children, though, you know, he might, he might have his owner come this afternoon. He might have his owner come in a month. So at that point, you know, the kids might have their hearts broken, but we've tried to explain to them, he's not our dog. And we're just loving on him until further notice. And they all seem to pretty well understand that. I'm, I'm trying to play fetch, but he won't get fetch. He probably doesn't know how to play fetch. He, he does a lot of learning, but we have to teach him a lot of other learning. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about him? That he's nice and he kisses me on the face. <laughs> what are you going to do if his owner comes to pick him up? I'm going to say bye. But if he doesn't come in six in six months, then I'm gonna for Christmas I'm going to give him a dog bed. And it's going to be red. And I'm going to give him a dog treat. And I'm gonna give him a stuffed animal to play with that trip. Okay, I'm gonna go outside and play and I wanna see if he can, um, if he can play dump trucks with me. Okay, let's go see if he'll play dump trucks with you. Bye. all for today. We've picked the garden. we got several large cherries. The kids are up in the garden getting the green beans. I'm turning the fans off in here. And it seems to me like we have a new farm friend who was a little unexpected, but <laughs> almost we could say welcome. He's been really good so far. Um, he, he's not really interested in any of our livestock. Um, we haven't posted like I said, so until somebody decides to come and be like, hey, that's my dog, I guess he's gonna come and soak up some love and some food and some water while he's here. Hey, Mr. Monkey. What? You want some tomatoes? I'm not a monkey. You're not a monkey? No, I don't cry me. I a kid. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think dogs can have tomatoes, so don't give them any. Any more? You want no. more? Just one. Just one. I love you. I'm just you. Okay. I'm... Are we good? Cause I have some with daddy. Okay. I gave him one already. You want any more? You need a shower. <laughs> We're good. Do you like them? Yeah. Yeah? I don't want this one. Yep. Oh, did, you didn't bite that already, did you? Mm-mm. Okay. I just bite this one. Just that one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
until next time, thank you for watching. May God bless you. And we will see you again soon.